graphing lines. So there's a few formulas that we use when we're graphing lines. You can have these on your formula sheet. Y equals MX plus B. You should understand, because it's not on the formula sheet, but the B is the y-intercept, the M is the slope. And then you have the other formula. which describes the slope with the rise run and it also describes a coordinate of some other point so not the y-intercept it's some other point and when the point is inside this formula do we understand the coordinate would have opposite values that was really close I saw, um, so the coordinate has the opposite values. Okay, so graphing the first line, we can have a y-intercept is four, that's the number. And then we're gonna go down to right five. down to right five. Once that's complete, you need to put arrows on the end of your line or you would get a deduction to show that it's going on forever. Okay, the next one. The slope is what the point is what. So the slope is what rise over what run? One over, one over three. Good, I caught you there because I didn't put a number there, which means it's a one. And the coordinate of the point is what comma what, and you gotta think, what did we say? Opposite. So it is negative four comma positive one. So negative four positive one, is a point and then you should go up one right three this one what do I do to graph this one it doesn't look like any of the top ones it doesn't look like that it doesn't look like that any suggestions for strategy then move stuff around what was the other word what did you say I heard move stuff around separate okay what is the goal what do I want it to look like then when I'm done y equals just y alone so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the y stuff, which means negative 3y. I'm keeping the y stuff. Equals the x stuff would need to move. As soon as you say something is moving over, it's changed. The number, which is negative 12, would need to go away from the y, so it moves. Then I'm getting y alone, so the algebra is to divide by 3, and when you do that to the y, you have to do it to the everything. So y equals, that's actually a positive Now I can see my components. So there's a negative four as a y-intercept. And then the process of the slope says to do what and what. So 
So I went up seven and I went right three. <clears throat> okay, I had noticed that I didn't put this outcome on this one or the, uh, the other one, so I better put it on here because it could be on your exam. What if I had said graph using the intercept method? Okay, the intercept method means find all the intercepts. Okay, so what is a y-intercept? What is the definition of a y-intercept? It's where the x equals zero. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, what is seven times zero? Zero. Can we just go like this and scratch it out? So now we don't have any x's. How do you just algebra that over? Negative 3y equals positive 12. Okay, then what is the x-intercept? What's the definition of an x-intercept then? Where y equals zero. So if I write this equation and I now have no y, so I'm going to scratch the y out of it. How do I isolate x? So 7x equals 12, x equals, this is going to be decimal, that's fine. I'm just going to go with a 1.7. So how would I graph that? On the y-axis, there's my negative 4. On the x-axis, here's my 1.7. Look at that. It's already on that line, right? But that's an intercept method, is alternating the zeros, right? OK. Write an equation for this graph. So I'm going to use the y equals mx plus b form. And the reason is because I can see my y-intercept and my slope. So that's that one. What is the number on this height of this point? Positive 3. So I'm going to put plus 3. And what is the movement? What did we do here to get from there to there? One, two, three, four. Everybody would agree, down four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, when you are sliding down a hill, that's a negative slope. If you're climbing up a hill, that's a positive slope. Okay, I noticed we didn't have this on the first review, so I made sure I added it. Find the slope, uh, midpoint, distance. So these formulas are all on your formula sheet. Here's the slope formula from your formula sheet. Okay, does it make sense? Because rise is the change of height. That's what that is. Run is the change of x. So that's where that formula is from. So let's go back to these points. I'm going to label this x1, y1 because the first point, and then this will be x2, y2. So can you take those numbers and fill it into what you would have on a formula sheet?
y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, the big thing on this is understanding your integers, right? Here I have a subtract a negative. So that really just adds it. So that would be a what over a what? Anybody know what that comes out to be now at the top? Without your calculator? Confidence. Integers. Negative 1 over 11. Okay, then we have distance. Okay, this distance formula is just the Pythagorean theorem. Right? A squared plus B squared, and then we square root it. That's all this formula is. So if I drew these points out, If I drew these points and connected a triangle, this would be the rise, this would be the run, this would be the distance. Do you see what I'm doing? This squared plus this squared equals that squared. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I've already actually done these numbers. Do you remember what x2 minus x1 was? Over here. 11. Negative 1 was the other number. So I did the work already, so I'm not going to repeat it. So x2 minus x1 was 11. This was negative 1. So Say that again. Yeah, did you get to the thing? Yeah. I thought I found somewhere on a multiple choice question that it just left it as a square root. So whether it be a square root or a decimal number. <clears throat> okay, midpoint. So what's in the middle? So what we're going to do is we're going to average. Do you know how to do an average of two things? You add them together and divide by two. That's an average. So these formulas are on your formula sheet, but they should be also a little bit of the common sense part of where they're coming from. So a midpoint is the average x, the average y. So we have a 1 here and a 12 here. So what's halfway with a 1 and a 12? Decimal. It's a point. 6.5. Then our heights, we had a negative 4 plus a negative 5. So what does that make? Also a decimal? Do you get negative 4.5? So if you were ever checking this on an exam and you wanted to say, like, let's plot that, it would land there. Does it physically look like it's in the middle? Write an equation. The line that we have is perpendicular to this line and has a y-intercept of 9. So I need an equation. So let's find the slope of this one. I need to know the slope of this one. 
How am I going to find that? I'm going to y equals. I need y alone. Algebra, algebra, just get y alone. So I'm going to go 5y. Then I'm going to move that x stuff away. I'm going to move the number away from it. Algebra, move stuff away from it. Divide by 5, divide by 5. So the slope of this, I don't need the whole equation here. I really just wanted the slope. The slope is negative 6 over 5. Bless you, bless you. Okay. My line is perpendicular to this one. What do we do with perpendicular slopes? So let's just visualize perpendicular. Well, first of all, if this line is positive, this line is negative and vice versa. So my slope will be positive, and what else do we do? There's something, you flip this around. So perpendicular slope is positive five over six. So now what do I do? I have a slope here and a y-intercept there. So my final answer is Okay, the graph here is completely just flat. So this is a special line. So I'm going to give you multiple choice. What kind of line would it be? There's only one letter involved. Is it an x equals line or a y equals line? So if you forget, put a bunch of points on it. Every single point has the same what value? The same x value or the same y value? They all have a y value of negative 4. Every single point, no matter where you are in that, the y value is 4, negative 4. Okay, so this one... I'm going to go y equals mx plus b, and what is the y-intercept? What is the y-intercept? Y-intercept is zero. Y-intercept is zero. And what is the slope? What are you doing every time? From a point to another point, what did you do? I went up one, right two. Okay. You won't see me write it like that. You would see just one half x. Okay, there is a zero value as a y intercept. 